great exercise. Um, once you're in a gymnastics program, if your interest is in gymnastics, you would join a gym or get exposure. They start training you on the floors, the bars, the beam, and the vault. Brianna, as some of you guys know from here, Brianna came here for about two years. She came here and she was part of the after school program. So New Covenant is very aware and very familiar with Brianna because she came here as well. And so did my other daughter, Kyla. Kyla went to school here and Kyla started to do gymnastics this year. But we wanted to come and share with New Covenant and especially the girls about gymnastics because you too, if it's something that you want to do, if it's your passion, you can accomplish this. Anything that you set your mind to, if you work hard enough and you dedicate your time and you practice like anything else, you too can be a gymnast, whether it's a female or a male gymnast. So Brianna has been doing gymnastics now for a while, and I wanted to come back here and show you guys a little bit about what she's done and tell you a little bit about her accomplishments and how far she's come with her gymnastics. Okay? We're going to show you some of her some moves on the floor. As you guys saw, saw me holding up, these are all the medals that she's won. over 20 trophies at home, but I couldn't bring that in. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This is over the course of about two years. She's, she's, she placed on different events, first place, sometimes second place, third place, but she was able to place. Um, and what that is, is you do your exercise and then you get judged by a judge and based on all of the girls, or in, it's more or less girls, but boys also compete. A judge would judge you and then rate your exercise accordingly. And it's from 10. You start off at 10. That is the start. And each time you make a mistake or whatever, then you get deducted. But Brianna has had a wonderful year the last year um, where she came in number one on floor, bars, beam, and vault in two New York State championships. And New York State asked Brianna to represent New York at a competition in Massachusetts, way upstate New York. And she came in first, had the highest score on the bar exercise, and she, she was able to help New York come in third place. So she had a lot of success doing her gymnastics. So this is her first speaking engagement, and hopefully won't be her last, because I want her to reach out and let you girls know, and boys too, that this is something that you can do if you desire. And you're willing to work hard, you too can be a gymnast. Or at least get into the sport and enjoy yourself and have fun. Come on, Brianna. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. No. Come on. Take your jacket off. Brianna, come on. Take your jacket off. Yes, 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 come on. Come on, Brianna, we, we, we have to move forward here. So Paige, take a look at them. Just hold them up, take a look at it, and then just pass them on.
stick-like thing, but it's only four inches wide. And the difficulty is to stay on the beam and not fall off. It's only four inches wide. And that's the difficulty part of being doing the beam exercises because it's only four inches wide. And here she is on the beam. She's holding a handstand and she's holding a different move. Handstand. And on this page, she's actually doing a cartwheel. She's doing a cartwheel on the beam. She has learned how to put her hands down and flip her body over and do a cartwheel and not fall off. And again, think about four inches, about this wide across. That's what she's able to accomplish. Kyle, I believe. Very talented. Now, I'll read a little bit. The Sweetheart Invitational meet and the Excel Silver State. She came in number one, had the highest score. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Her achievements are USAIG Regional Competition. She was the first place qualifier in New York State. She was awarded Most Enthusiastic Gymnast at the Hudson Valley Winter Classic. She was awarded over 15 trophies and, as we saw, 35 medals. Her scores range from a 9.4 on vault, 9.75, remember, out of a possible 10. 9.40 on the vault, 9.75 on bars, on beam, 9.50, and on floor, 9.55. So she's got some very high, impressive marks. Take a look at this over yeah. here. For the Newburgh Beacon Bridge in Cornwall. This is a copy of the a picture of the team. And here she is with all her medals on her. And what I did was, my husband made this yesterday. I'm just going to read some of it and then we'll, we'll, we'll do some moves. Brianna was very blessed in that she has done so well in her last year's competition. She made the newspaper nine times. You could take a look. She made the she made the newspaper nine times. Here's one right here. Brianna Richardson leads gym kids. So she made the newspaper nine times. Front hip circle, connect to squat arm, round off back handspring, back layout, cartwheel on the beam, back walk over on low beam, front tuck, front handspring, and an aerial on the floor and switch leap. She uh she um and switch leap on the floor. Her gymnastics goal, what she wants to achieve with her gymnastics sport, she wants to achieve success at level 10. Gymnastics starts off on level 3, and as you acquire skills, then you move to level 10. Right last year she was a level 4, now she's a level 6. They, her gymnastics program skipped level 5 because she had obtained all of the skills necessary, so they're pushing her to level 6. So her gymnastics goal is to achieve success at level 10. After 10, then you go to the Olympics. Um, and continue to contribute to the all-around success of, at that time, the team, which was gym kids. Um, so, and I have some pictures of Brianna when she was a little girl and a baby, and just to show her growth. Just to show her growth. So if you guys are interested, and here's an article. So on level four, she was trained to do a cartwheel. How many here can do a cartwheel? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Put your hand. Brianna's a little shy, but mommy's not. Mommy's got a big mouth and I'll talk for her. So now she's gonna demonstrate a cartwheel. That's a cartwheel. Now she's gonna demonstrate a round off. a handstand. Brianna has won several competitions where in the intermission they have a handstand hold and she was always able to hold her handstand the longest. That's a handstand. Now we're
we're going to demonstrate some higher level skills. She's going to do a back walkover. And she has also learned how to do a back walkover on the beam. That long beam that I was telling you guys about, on the beam. This is a back walkover. Like Try it again. Brianna, Matt's up in the attic. Again, this is a back walkover. Now we're going to try a front walkover, opposite of a back walkover, a front walkover. Carmelo, come on. of it all because usually she's running and bouncing on a springed mat. We're going to do a back handspring. Take your time. Figure it out. Sure. Hmm? Okay. Okay. We'll do it from here. Do it from here. Do it from here. Slow down. Run your a level six skill. It's mm. called a back handspring and she's learning how to do it on the beam. She's going to try, try an aerial, which is a no-handed cartwheel. Several of you girls and boys said you know how to do a cartwheel. Mommy used to do a cartwheel, but I'm old now. So I, I might break a leg. So she's going to do an aerial. Can't do it, Brianna? You might not be able to get it.
Good job. All right, gym kids. And before you do your team, you the bars, to the judge. What's these gymnastics meet? And it takes a lot of ability to be able to move throughout the bars from one bar to the next. Nice three. Excited. The owners have said very excited that Brianna was able to come here today and present. I have information if you're interested. It is an affordable gym. Some gyms are very expensive, but this gym is affordable. You would start off maybe one day a week as you start to learn the different moves that are required on the various apparatuses, floors, bars, beam, and vault. And as your skill level increases, then so would the days that you would be able to go to practice. But knowing that there is a gym right in your backyard, and it's black owned and operated, and they want everybody to come who has an interest. Woo! Woo! For Miss Brianna. Come on, baby girl. On behalf of New Covenant, you are part of our family, will always be. We want to thank you for taking the time to come out to share God's gift that he's instilled in you so that you can extend it to our family. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Love you. Does anybody have any questions? I wanted to show you this for God. Yeah. Yeah. training at two years old Woo! and she rose to that level of Olympics the first african-american girl to win the all-around meaning placing first on all of the different apparatus and this is a poster that her, her godfather because he knows that that is Brianna's idol bought for her For some of you older girls like like um, Anna Luz, Brianna, who's only 11, 12 years old, she's only 16, maybe 17. Wow. And her, she, she, she would train for hours and hours and hours and hours. And when it got to be to the point that the gym that she was training with could no longer take her to the next level, her mother acquired three jobs and flew her to Colorado, Ooh. where she lived with a family and a Japanese coach trained her, and she qualified, Brianna and myself and her gym. We went to Madison Square Garden in 2012 when Gabby Douglas was just an alternate. Nobody even knew who she was. She qualified for the Olympics, and she nailed it with hard work and dedication. Richardson in 2016. There's one more move. This is I, I forgot you want to do the split. You see how Gabby's on a split? Uh -huh. Brianna's going to do a split for you. There you go. That's a split. Now you want to do a straddle?
Hi, my name is Brianna Richardson. I go to Rambo Middle School. I'm 11, and thank you all for coming to see me.